Hello everybody, this is the Benjinator, and you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier. This is a Cellus Quest Part 4, and it's been about four months since I've done this LP. Uh, but I'm really happy to be back. It's been a while, and I am just dying to get back into this game. So, I should mention that the last time I played this, uh, I attempted to fight this freaky creature in front of me. Uh, the, uh, the Devil Squid. And I was unsuccessful, so I had to scrap that recording. So I remember that just before I tried this again, I did do some leveling up, so let us try to fight this thing. Of course, we have our friend Acellus, who's um, kind of on her way to learning some sword techniques. Uh, I'm kind of reminding myself of exactly what I did. White Rose has her White Rose stuff, and of course we got Miser Thigh, who's going to be helping us out. So let's see if we can actually get through this battle this time, because last time I was not successful, but who knows, maybe I'll have some luck this time. So let's go! Woo! Yeah, the PlayStation is uh, a little bit rusty, so it's, it's the disc is kind of slow, but everything seems still seems to be in order. Oh my god. Yeah, I decided to take a break from this for a while, but it's really good to be back. I miss this game a lot. Alrighty. And I also made... I also just miss... Making LPs in general. It's good stuff. It's fun. Alright, so Phantasm Shot. And of course, it should say that Meister Time has her ever so famous life reign, which will keep us alive. So let's, um, hmm. Let's put some victory on. on Acellus, because she's definitely going to need it. But of course, uh, Devil Squid is going to be using uh, a pretty powerful attack just to begin. So. This might not be the best idea, but maybe we can get off, like, one hit or something. There we go. Stun Slash for 70. It's better than nothing. And here comes Milestrom. But, of course, Spicer Time is immune because she has the Blue Elf, which is a technique that's extremely helpful. Alright, so now what we do is we bring her back. And so the idea is basically just survival. It can be kind of a difficult battle, but I will... Yeah, like, when he does that, that... Kind of sucks, but she's strong. Much of the time is uh, pretty mighty in that in that sense. So uh, let's use some Starlight Heal with White Rose. This is probably one of the more diff more challenging battles in the game, believe it or not, because you don't really have much time to prepare for it. And some Lance. See, unfortunately, uh, White Rose is kind of double dealing as a as a damager, but also someone who can heal. So that's what makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want Meister Thyme to die. That's kind of the big thing. Uh, the big thing is you do not want her to perish because she's... Alright, so let's, let's use the Max Cure on her because we're going to get plenty of these later. Meanwhile, uh, let's let's just do, do this double technique. Yep, there we go. Level 2 combo. So hopefully we won't have too much trouble with uh, our friend. Our friend Mr. Devil Squid. You see, almost a thousand damage. But then, of course, uh, that that really sucks. Of course, she's not dying, which is great. Max cure. Okay, so hopefully we can dispense with Mr. Squid fairly quickly. I can't, I can't believe I remembered his name. That is absolutely crazy. Because it's been four months, and I could have just given any old guess to him. But I was like, I, I think he's a devil squid. So, it works. Meanwhile, more feelers, which are unpleasant. But hopefully, uh, oh, yeah, White Rose is down for the count. That's all right, because Meister Time's actually at max HP. So, eh, let's, for the time being, I think we can survive probably another round. Just because I want, I, I like it when he uses, uh, well, I don't like it when he uses Milestrom, but it, it, it's the most useful time for it, I think. So, Thunder Thrust. Ooh, that's really good. It's kind of surprising, too. Alrighty, so now I think the the smartest thing to do would be to continue using Thunder Thrust and Life Rain, because I have a feeling that he's going to be doing something annoying. <laughs> if he uses uh, Milestrom now, I'm going to be a little bit upset, but hopefully that won't be the case. He probably will. Yep, I should have guessed it. Oh well, I can sacrifice one more. Uh, I can sacrifice one more LP from. Meister Time, that's fine. She's still got four left, so. Trample. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Yep. As I said, this is a really frustrating battle. Ugh. 
Yeah, so I've been thinking about some of the other games that I want to try, and one of them is definitely going to be uh, Wild Arms 3. That actually might be my next LP, because I've been playing it, you know, just for funsies, without recording. And it's actually a really good, underrated game. So I would... I mean, I'd recommend it. It was made in about 2002. It's for the PS2. Um, just really, really fun. And so that's probably going to be my next LP. Although, who knows when that's going to be. Because uh, I still have to do this game, of course. And we're, we're only about... This is only the third quest in, so... Uh, this, is, this is a good way to come back. And oh, this might finish him off. This might finish him off. I'm excited. Look at this. Thunder Thrust. Fantastic Shot. And Lance. Woo! Come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, come on. That is frustrating. Just need one more of those. Oh! Uh, that's that's unfortunate. Alright, so... Yeah, fortunately there's not much fighting after this, which is really, really good, because this is a really... This is a frustrating battle. Ugh. Of course, Acelus' quest in general is just difficult. Alright, we won. Fantastic. Woohoo! Ah, good way to come back. Get some HP raise and some JP raise. Not that that's going to help us out in the immediate future. So, alright. So now we're just going to go through here and through this door. Oh, and look, it's playing the happy music again. Yay, we brought Miser Thyme back to the lake. Aw, uh, goodbye. That's so sad. Uh. Well, oh, the guy dressed like Robin Hood? I remember him. It's been three, four months, but I, I remember him. He was kind of silly. All right, and of course, there's her little, uh, little picture. She looks kind of freaky. Definitely like those eyelashes, though. Those are fancy. Uh-oh. Dun-dun-dun. Oh, yeah, there's there's talk about how... I think there's a book that having to do with this game. They say that Acellus is actually uh, a lesbian. So... You know, the, the connection she feels to White Rose is not just, you know, two best friends. It might be something a little more. But then, again, then of course, the one who's narrating this, uh, Gina, also might be... Might, might be going in that direction as well, so... Who knows? Who knows? Woo! Kato! The Kato Institute! Uh-oh, any means necessary. That's not good. That's what Malcolm X said, man. And of course, he got assassinated. Uh-oh. He's making shadows of himself. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting part of the game. So now, of course, we're back in uh, Omi. And now what you, what you actually want to do is you want to come back here. And of course, remember, there's this guy who's like, the plane's not ready yet. Well, now the plane is ready. So he's going to take you to Shrike. And so here's kind of an interesting thing, is that I'll actually show you, I'll show you when you get there. But this is kind of a what I call a false. It's kind of a fal false lead because you don't want to do the next thing you're supposed to do quite yet. All right, so here of course is you know it's my house. That's that's where you would ostensibly want to go next. But you don't actually want to go here next. What you want to do is that you want to start to assemble the Acellus party. And you want to be able to start leveling up before you start, you un, you uh, raise this next flag in the quest and the programming. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heal up, I'm going to save, and I'm going to show you uh, the party members that you're going to want to get for Acellus. So I will be right back. All right, here we are, boys and girls. It's, of course, our favorite place. The, the pub in Scrap, where all our dreams, well, go to die, but we can get some pretty good party members. So first of all, I should mention that uh, we don't have we don't have Miser Thyme in our party anymore. So that's the first thing. The second thing uh, you want to keep in mind is that even though White Rose might seem like a really cool character, you actually do not want to use her for reasons I'll be explaining later, but like just pretend that she's not here, okay? Just she's in the second She's in the second party, don't plan to use her, all right? So you only have a Celis right now. And so, of course, now as usual, the first person we want to pick up is our friend Loot. Because Loot is going to be a swordsman, and of course Loot, as we know from previous quests, can become really, really powerful. So Loot is your first party member. Now normally I would say, uh, try to pick up some of these other characters, but 
You talk to uh, Mei Ling. He says that your hair. She says your hair is exotic. And um, yep. See him have a problem. <laughs> All right. Mei Ling obviously is not a big fan of us. And there's Riki, of course. What does he say? Uh Riki's always so nice. Yeah, Riki's not afraid of anything. He's got his own little uh, quest. Oh, suck your blood. Oh, I knew she was a vampire. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, so neither of these guys can join you. And of course, uh, if you talk to uh, the robot, he's freaked out by the amount of life force coming from you. Uh, yeah, that's a little depressing. And uh, of course, again, you can't get unless you go for the card quest, which we will not be doing in this game. I gave this a lot of, a lot of thought. And I think that the best way to go is actually the rune quest. So that'll be the last step. But now let's uh, pick up a few other party members. So I'll be right back. And voila, we're at Luminous to get, you know who it is, one of my favorite characters. It's our friend Rouge. Yes, you cannot, in my opinion, there's almost no reason to never have Rouge. There are two quests that you cannot get him in, but this is not one of them, so why not? Anyway, now what I want you to do is to uh, go to Shrike and initiate the rune quest, and I will see you, not, not Shrike, I'm sorry, uh, the other one, Devin, yes, Devin, go to Devin, initiate the rune quest, and then go to Shrike, I'll see you there. And finally, here we are back in Museum to pick up, you guessed it, our friend Rufus, he's coming with us this time, so, uh, I guess he's not coming with us, never mind, okay, so, uh, it looks like, alright, I'm gonna have to figure this out. But the next thing you want to do after this, especially since you've initiated the rune quest, is to go to actually Tanzer and pick up uh, Feyon, because he's definitely one of the best characters that you can get. Um, and then from that point on, I think I will try to figure out who else I can get into this party. Uh, don't worry, it definitely will be a good one. Uh, but for the time being, what I'm going to do, of course, is to get Feyon, try to get somebody else, and if there's somebody that I haven't shown before, I'll make sure to show that in the next video. Uh, but then, of course, I'm going to be going uh, leveling up, possibly going on the rune quest. Um, and then I'm going to be showing you a really special side quest that you can do in any quest you want. Uh, that is entering Say's Tomb, which we kind of scratched on the surface of with Red's quest. Uh, but now we're going to be seeing the real deal with the Celis. So, this has been the Benjinator returning from his four month hiatus. It was good to be back. Uh, you're watching Let's Play Saga Frontier, a Celis' quest, and I'll see you next time.